Hello everyone and welcome in a new series of 10 videos showing you how to play Combat Sage. I set up a new account and I run through the tutorial and all the way to getting a few bases, upgrading them pretty much to the full spec and I was explaining along the line why I've done certain things, what I think is good, bad and so on and hopefully that will help you in the game. At the end of this video there is a message, you can just fast forward this, if you would like to participate in a little challenge. So if you'd like to win some gold, please check this out. So now let's go to the flags, okay? So we've built one flag, that's nine gold, right? Then is another flag, 19 gold. Another one, 29 gold. Another upgrade, 29 gold. Another one, 99 gold. Another one, 200 gold. 200 gold. Now the level 8 is 300 gold, okay? Now level 9 is 500 gold. Level 10 1000 gold. Level 11, 2,000 gold. And then you've got the final level 12, it's only 3,000 gold. Yeah? It's a good value for money. Okay. Now you've got the tick box, which means that you cannot upgrade anymore. So now you've got the full flux full level right uh, so you feel protected okay now you need now there's no flags on the home base I see okay so then we've got the site tower now the site tower it shows you you see this black war fog as they call it okay this is what you can see. Anything which is in the fog, you can't see. However, if you upgrade your sight tower, that will give you better view. So if I do the first upgrade, I can see that much now. I can do a second upgrade, 29 gold. And that will give me even better view. Is it not done? Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> okay. And I think I can upgrade it one once more. 100 gold. Then I've got the tick. And then I can see as far as this. Now, someone left the APC in here. Okay, then we got a jammer. Now the jammer is the thing that when you've got the jammer, I don't think any of those guys have a jammer. Now, for example, if this guy would have a jammer, you would not be able to see what is here. Okay, now in Panzer Ranch, the jammer, of oh, actually no, the Panzer Ranch doesn't have a jammer. Oh no, it does actually. Yeah, in Panzer Ranch, it's gonna cover the entire base. In here it only covers here so if there are guys which has the you know full upgrade of everything if you actually want to see what is in there and they've got the jammer and the detector tower and obviously you run your spy you, you, yes you will open that but you're gonna lose that plane okay or the helicopter so it's just that uh, little info and now click the subscribe button, right now, otherwise... ...for you. But anyway, Jammer, first stage is 19 gold, second stage is 50 gold, 
and the third stage is 100 gold okay so now you've got that built and then detector tower works on the same principles as the side tower and the and the jammer it's just the, the way where it can detect the spy plane planes okay first upgrade 29 second upgrade there is no second upgrade actually this is it oh there's something happening here okay so you see they've got one helicopter they build in the flags you see this that might be our target to be honest um, but yeah let's see anyway so we've got all of that um, Yeah, we can't really have anything else. Now, uh, these are the flux. If you want to build the flux, so when you want when you want to build the flux, you set the queue for you know 10, 20, or 30. I click on that, and they will be building the flux. And you normally you do that when you have a new base. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Now we need to build more of them. Now, while I'm building the the vehicles, I can't really build any more of um, any more of the buildings, uh, so I can show you. But uh, let me run through this. So, command base. The command base will give you more bases. So, at the moment, if you see here, I've got one. I've got one out of ten bases. So at the moment, without building a common base, I can take 10 bases. If I get 11th base, then it will be screaming at me that, you know, I don't have enough common base, so I need to build more, okay? And therefore, you need to build more, more common bases, okay? Now, with the military points, that is the military central. So as you build in military central, it will add the military point to you. Now, I've, at the moment, I've used 12, um, uh, 1,200 points. It keeps going uh, going up, but as you um, progress in the game, you notice that, let's say you want uh, you want a helicopter, Puma helicopter, which is perfect for, for base defense, but that one helicopter is gonna eat up like 2,000 of your military points. Okay, so imagine you want to have a bunch of Pumas, like 10 or 20, you need to have a lot of military points, okay? And then the energy, to get more energy, you need, um, you need a power plant, okay? Oh, something happening here. Okay. So, uh, if you want uh, more energy, you need to build power plant. Now, the, the, the power plant or the energy you need for buildings. So, as you upgrade in the buildings or you build in the flux, they will eat up your energy and therefore you would need to add more uh, power plants. But you will see, when I'm going to get the, um, the first base, uh, you will see that... Um, you will have a little bit more options okay and uh, and therefore uh, the one of the biggest and nicest options for me is that as you've got this immediate um, uh, upgrade for the resources you will also have the immediate upgrade for the power plant uh, military point and is it a common base no Do something else here. It was a power plant, military central. Well, maybe that's it then. Yeah. Well, let's let wait, let's let's uh, wait and see. Now, um, another thing you would need to know, as you notice on the map, you've got a brown basis. I forget about the red and blue, but uh, you've got the brown and you've got this kind of orange colors, okay? Now, the orange bases are the bases which can be taken by the newbies only. 
and the newbies is considered the guy who has uh, I believe a five or less bases okay so the good thing about this is that that the guys who already owns more than five bases or six they no longer be able to even attack the yellow base okay because that is is um, um, is left for for the for the new guys so once you got the five uh, five or six bases you actually need to attack your enemy and and uh, so, so when you're starting probably the best bases you should go for are the yellow bases because the yellow base has only two flags and it doesn't belong to anyone so no one is going to come with the reinforcements obviously you need to remember that not only you will be going for the base so so you, you know you might find that there's someone else trying to get it and then you have to fight with these guys so um so uh, but yes that that would be the the, the first base to go for hey okay come on 20 You know, I'm just gonna speed it up because I don't have time. Now, um, there is also one thing which I forgot to mention. Oh, these guys, these guys are quite good. I have to tell you, these guys are quite, quite good. Okay, the last thing um, in there is a crane. Okay, so when you build a crane, you are able to repair the units. Okay, now the first upgrade is 79 gold. The second upgrade is 150 gold. And the third upgrade is 350 gold. Level 3. That's it. So three levels of crane, okay? Now, as you can probably notice by now, I bought 11,000 of gold, 11,000, okay, for 60 euro. And I've just upgraded pretty much everything on my base and I have left two and a half thousand. So if you want to do all of that on every base, then you can see that you're going to need quite a lot of gold. Quite a lot of gold. Okay? So, so it's a free game. But as you can see... Oh, you see what we got in here? We, we got uh, two alliances fighting for that base. We've got Al Alucard and we've got Cowards. <laughs> now, the funny thing is Alucard, Alucard is actually my alliance. <laughs> yes, Alucard is actually my alliance. So I'm going to be fighting them. Now they don't know that yet, um, obviously I'm not here to spy or anything like that, but this, this account, okay, this account is going to be, is going to be um, uh, uh, given to some of you, okay, I'm just gonna top up and, uh, and I'm gonna put some uh, some key in that video and whoever take all this information is gonna well take a possession of this um, of this um. question for the challenge is there anywhere in this video an anti-air train um, BP44 of, of, of this account Okay, 36. Okay, we don't want any more. Okay, so we've got 
Seven groups. Okay, I think we still need to. We still can't. Let's build a few more of them. Okay, now I have no longer um, bonus of them. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna cut it short and let me build, let me build a little bit more of them. I'm gonna make it quicker. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Okay, so this is the message. Now, if you would like to participate and win, uh, you know, few thousands of gold, all you need to do is to watch carefully every video of this series. And every video has a question and the answer. I will need from you all 10 correct answers at the end of this series. Now, once I've got the 10 correct answers, I will give a choice to the winner and the choice is between either this account in a combat sage plus 15,000 of gold or slightly over or 6,000 of gold for any other Studio Hope game. Now obviously the winner can choose, now the second place will get whatever is left. So hopefully it's quite attractive. And I am looking forward uh, for the correct answers. So, see you at the end.